Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try this Martha Stewart's Kitchen uh, ready to bake braised chicken with potatoes, olives, and lemon. This is ready to bake, but you can also microwave it. Uh, we bought this at Kroger. It was $7.25. It is a nine ounce meal or 255 grams. Um, at $7.25, we've only seen these at Kroger, so I don't know where else they sell them at, but Kroger's the only place around here they have them. Um, it is a frozen dinner, of course. There's what it looks like. So the whole meal is only 220 calories, which is not much, really. There's your other info if you want. So the um, directions up here there. There's your oven directions. If you want to bake it, you can bake it in the oven. Uh, from frozen and from frozen microwave, you're going to remove the tray from the cart, peel back the corner to vent, um, place the braised chicken and potatoes, olives, and lemon in the center of the microwave directly on top of a microwave safe plate away from the walls. The reason they do that is it's kind of like an aluminized uh, pan, so you don't want to put it near the edge. It, it kind of sparks and stuff. Um, if it has a metal shelf, remove it. Cook for four to five minutes on high. Um, heat only one meal at a time. Stir and heat for an additional one minute or until the turn temperature reaches 165. So I'm going to do it probably four and a half minutes and then stir it and then do it for an additional minute. So let's see what it looks like. This is a paper cut box because it doesn't have a pull tab and I'm telling you they are they really glue her boxes together. <coughs> there we go. Not much to see there, but I'm gonna vent it. I'll need to take the tray, you have to flatten it back up a little bit. I'm going to vent the corner. Again, not much to see, but I'm gonna get it in the microwave. I'll be back when it comes out. All right, so here it is out of the microwave and um, your potatoes and your chicken. I'll tell you what, you don't get much potato and there's your olive. Um, you don't get a lot of potato in there. I think there's probably, if I were to add that up, it'd probably be a quarter of a regular sized potato. And I only see three little pieces of olive in there. I really don't see a lot of olive and you wouldn't think olives would be that expensive. There's another little piece. So anyway, I'm like, it, there's just not a lot of food here. So no wonder it's low in calorie because it's, um, it's low in food. <laughs> That's why it's low in calorie. So anyway, I'm gonna take this over the table and I'll be right back. Okay, right. good point I'm gonna take, I'm actually, the potato I had on there fell off. So I've got meat and the chicken and the um, olive on there and I'll go get the potato. Hmm, flavor's not bad. I actually do like the flavor of it. Um, the, uh, the potato is a little firm, and I can tell you, I tried to cut one of the bigger ones, like in half, and it was so hard I couldn't hardly cut it. Way undercooked potatoes. I mean, they're, um, they're not crunchy crunchy, but they're very, very hard. But I do like the flavor of the, of the sauce in there. I don't know what it is. I've had a, there's a meal I've had that's a, like one of the shelf ready or self stable, shelf stable Hormel meals that has a similar flavor to this, which sounds awful, but that's just true. Um, it, it has the kind of like a, it's not quite chicken noodle, but it's kind of like a chicken stew kind of thing. I don't, I don't know what it is. This reminds me of that flavor quite a bit. Um, I do like the flavor of the, of the chicken. I like the flavor of the olives in there. The olives, you don't get many of them, but I do like the flavor of them in there. I even like the flavor of the potatoes with the with the gravy or the sauce. Um, it's not very exciting. I like the flavors, but it's not a very exciting flavor. It's no more exciting than like um, chicken noodle soup or uh, like a beef stew. Even beef stew actually has more flavor than this does. Um, it's just not a very exciting meal. And it says it has um, lemon. I don't get a lemon flavor at all. At least it doesn't stand out as, ooh, that's lemon. Um, so it's kind of boring. I wish the potatoes were a little softer as well. The small one was okay, but the bigger pieces are kind of hard. Yeah, like they needed another like two or three minutes to boil before they put them in the meal. That's, that's kind of what the, the textures are like. But again, I do like the chicken flavor. I do like the flavor of the sauce, but it is kind of bland. Um, you don't get enough food. 
add enough flavor in here for a 720 something meal. You don't, you just absolutely, it's not worth half of that. Um, I wouldn't pay $4 for this meal in, in normal times. If I wasn't doing a review channel, I would never pay even $4 for this. Um, that being said, it's not bad, it's just plain. So I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it a three out of five. It's really literally just, just blah. Um, if I were to include the price into that rating, I'd probably give it a one because it's way, way, way too expensive. Just because you stick Martha Stewart's name on it doesn't mean it's, it's gonna be great. It's just okay. So, um, so anyway, I hope you enjoyed this, this uh, review. I, I wouldn't buy it if it's if you get it at this price. If you got them like the two dollar range, maybe maybe even three is kind of pushing it. But you don't get a lot of food for three dollars. Um, if it's in that range, you might try it out. But anything higher than that, don't don't waste your money. You're just spending money for nothing. Go buy something else. There's uh, hundreds of other frozen dinners that are much better. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.